ka heke ngā roi mata arangi nui hei tohu aroha mo tōna whaiaipo a papatua nuku e tako to mai nei. Koi nei te tī matanga o te wai, he wai ora ki ngā tamariki a tāne o tira ki a ngai tangata. Ka taka ngā roi mata nei ki runga maunga kōrero, ka heke ngā roi mata nei hei awa tere tere. Ka rere te wai ora nei ki ngā tini roto, ki ngā tini moana o Aotearoa. Nā wai rā, nā wai rā, nā wai rā. Ko i henga tērā o oku tīpuna, i raparapa, i kitea, i tapai nā i ngā roto o te rohe o te arawa. Nei rā ngā puna wai i unu mea e oku tīpuna, hei whāngai i te hinengaro, hei whāngai te tinana, i te ngākau o ti rā i te wairua. Our city of Rotorua is one of the major tourist destinations in New Zealand. The daily 15,000 tourists that visit Rotorua are introduced to our indigenous Māori culture geothermal activity, famous landmarks and also a city built around and named after one of New Zealand's most remarkable treasures, Lake Rotorua which lies in a volcanic basin. But sadly, as the city was developing, our lake grew sick. The problem was pollution. Through apathy and ignorance, our treasure was slowly being destroyed. Pollution came from a number of areas. Home waste and farming especially had an impact. Polluting materials such as animal waste and unwanted chemicals from fertilizers like nitrates and phosphates were being washed into the lake by rain. How do you feel? It is your fault this lake has been ruined. As you can see, he has nothing to say. They washed into the lake through creeks, rivers and streams. Before long, the lake was growing various types of algae and lake weeds from this waste. This cut down the oxygen levels in the water, which had a dramatic effect on plant and animal life. The daily 19,000 tonnes of treated wastewater was pumped into the lake via the stream behind me. But the remaining nutrients in the treated water fed the lake, causing lake weeds and algae to thrive. After an extensive research program, it was decided that it should be sprayed directly into the forest instead of pumping it back into the lake. This idea was a world first. Huge white pipes were built to pump the treated wastewater up into the forest holding ponds. The water finds its way onto the forest floor through 5,000 sprinkler nozzles. Whakarewarua Forest has many uses for recreational activities such as running, walking, and mountain bike. The treated waste water which is sprayed into the forest still finds its way into the lake, but the nutrients are dramatically reduced. Rotorua has taken big steps to stop this problem from happening again, and work continues to keep the lake clean. Simple things like cleaning your car on the lawn can stop detergents washing directly into the lake. Also, taking care of what goes into the stormwater drains helps to clean up the lake too. The people of Rotorua have also planted green belts around the lake and streams, which protect the lake from runoff when it rains. Through education, the community has made a real difference to Lake Rotorua. Having a clean lake has really helped the tourism industry grow, and the lake will stay clean for future generations, and show what New Zealand is. Clean and green, 100% New Zealand. <laughs>